All right, so here is a video on Mandalay Bay. People have wanted me to do it. I was going to do one on the cab audio, the cab driver audio, a couple weeks back, but I got onto a different case and done a whole bunch of videos on that one, um, the Kanika Jenkins case. Uh, but I'm going to uh, make a video right now of what I saw when I was looking at that. Okay, so you see right here, um, here is the building and the two windows that are broken. So it's six windows down from the top of the gray area. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right next to the gray area there. So right on the corner of the, the angles that are there. I believe they're 45 degree angles. Um, so let's see. Let me get Google Earth up there for you. So when you watch this, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's about right there. And this one, you know, so you got that one right there. And then the other broken windows right inside this one. Okay, so what's interesting about that is when the cab starts off the video, they're right in this area. Okay, so notice that, um, let, me, let me show you. I made these overheads that'll show it. So here's the overhead. This is the angle part of the building. And the cab is right here to start. Okay. Now, if you notice, the sound angle. I mean, you can still hear something over here, but the power of the sound where you hear it fully is in this arc right here. Okay. From that cornered window, that 60 degree window there. The, one, the window on the side has an arc like this. So if you're right inside this piece of pie right there, which the cab is to begin with, if there's a shot from this window, you'll have a little bit more of a muffled sound, okay? It's not the same as the echoing part of the, the shots, but it's, it's more muffled because the building is actually blocking the sound waves a little bit. Same as, same as this shot. So if there was anything right here, it wouldn't hear this gunshot that well, okay? Also keep in mind when you're watching the video that there's some undercovered areas too. The car drives underneath this, and then it also drives underneath here at, at certain times. Also keep in mind that the cab driver has their window rolled down at certain times and, and rolled up at certain times. So things sound louder, and then a minute later might sound a little bit more muffled, just like when you're in a lightning storm, and it's really loud if you have your window rolled down, and then you roll up your window, it's muffled. Okay, so it's pretty obvious stuff, all right? So Google Earth actually ha has a, uh, a street view, believe it or not, of the taxi cab lane that the taxi cab was on, and she was about right here. I think she was where this cab is, almost exactly maybe you're about a little bit back right there you can see right here here's the light fixture the exit and you can get on to the taxi cab road right there um, go back to google earth see right there if you go forward a little bit there's that one and this one all right so i'm gonna just keep it right here for now now let's listen to the audio here. This is where, you know, you got these people tricking people and hiding the fact that there is audio um, after the loud gunshot that's an echo. Okay, they paused it right there. So I'm not sure if I said that at the beginning of this, but <laughs> let's just play this again. Sorry about that. Here it comes. <laughs> talking a little bit. Yeah, it does, it sounds like automatic gunfire. Yep, you got that right. You do a lot better than some of the people at the console. Now 
around that right now, I believe the computer is moving from the 60 degree angle to the one on the screen. See right there? That shot right there? Now it sounds like it's the reason The reason that that shot right there didn't have a loud sound is I believe that that shot right there, if you leave the street view and look at the, the angle there. So remember, she's right there. Now that shot, I think, he moved from this window over to this one. And if you look, you can see right there, this is the angle that you'd get the complete loud sound. And now, now the building is blocking the shot, the, the audio, the, the loud sound that you get when the shot's coming from this window, okay? So it's a little bit more silent there. It's not muffled like the echo, but that's why it's not quite as loud. Her window is still rolled down at this point. Okay, so let's keep watching. Coming from um, farther away. And she was right, it is farther away. It's about 60 feet farther away. It just sounds a lot further because of the angle. And right there, he moved back to the 45 degree angle and started shooting again. That's why it was so loud. And right now, it's muffled and echoing because she's driving underneath that underpass. And right there, she just rolled up her window. You can hear it. Now see how the glass is, uh, see the reflections and stuff? Back here, her window is rolled down. The camera's out the window. No reflection at all on the glass. If there's any kind of reflection at all, on the phone. There's no difference. Okay, so let's go back to this area. So your window's rolled up. You can see all kinds of reflections now. Had her window been rolled down right there. Something's going on. We don't know. At this point, she's already passed underneath the underpass, which is right here. So I believe uh, that she's like in this area right now. Okay. So from that area, you could hear shots really well from either this this location or this location. Okay. So. Her window being down is why it's more muffled right then, okay? Had her window been down, that would have been just I'm as not loud. sure why people aren't running, but there's a security guard. What is he doing? You know, for there being gunfire, sure doesn't seem like people are, uh, are running. So again, from that position, both windows would be almost exactly the same audio level. They'd be really loud. Her window is just shut now, so it sounds quieter. Seriously, I don't know what's going on. That's insane, though. It just sounds like a, almost like a war zone. Where are the cops at? I'm right here by the porch at Mandalay Bay and everything just seems to be normal here. Okay, so right now she is about right here. So if I was able to move this, you know, maybe like in that area. Okay, and you can see, you know, she's looking up at this part of the building right there. Uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, and everything seems normal when it's not. What, what did that mean? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. When everything seems normal, it's not. Isn't that funny? If, like if she could have just that little curve right there is right there. 
you know, if she just looked around a little, like right up in there. So if she just looked up to her right a little bit, she'd probably see something. Yeah, we're just all sitting. We're just. It's hard to say what the shooter's doing right this minute. There's been a pretty long pause. It's probably, you know, maybe reloading all of his weapons, setting up a different window. I got again. details on it. I'm at the airport. I just talked to the Metro Police over here at the airport. They said, do not go to Mandalay Bay. There's multiple shots fired, and they need uh, lots of medical there. So right now, it's a little bit more muffled. So let's see if, if it works. So she's right... Let's see that angle again. Let me look at that uh, that angle that we had earlier. Yeah. So she's right here. So the shooting at that point is probably coming out of this angle because you can't... Um, you would hear it really loud, uh, a lot louder. It wouldn't be quite as muffled had it been from the side window. So at this point, they're probably shooting out this window again. That's why it's a little little more muffled, even though she hasn't gone much further. We're just... All right, so then she decides just to get the hell out of here. Everybody's just standing around. There's, it doesn't seem like anybody's uh, moving. It, it seems like so basically i think that's about it right there i don't really have any more to say about the video i mean i know she drives around picks up some people and so forth but um i think there's just one shooter all right i think it's pretty clear why the why the audio sounds the way it does and different locations and it's pretty simple okay uh it is bothering me though that they don't have the time frame of different events solidified even now you know they've changed the time where the security guard was shot um to like way before the gunshots even started you know things just aren't making sense on that front but i don't think there was more than one shooter okay just one all right so thanks for watching and i will talk to you later